are LMTV, Lynn Mar Television, now in our 10th year of award-winning broadcast excellence. Lynn Mar, your news starts now. Good morning, Lynn Mar. It's Friday, May 30th, 2014. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Lindmar campus. Our top story, it's the final weekend before the finals. Time to see what's happening. The team of Nick, Nate, and Amanda are here with their final LMTV weekend report. Well, the big events on campus are over at the baseball softball complex. Cheer on the varsity baseball team as they host Bettendorf at 5 p.m. Also at 5, 9th and 10th grade softball host Kennedy. Then at 5.30, JV and Varsity Softball hosts Marion. Today and tomorrow, Boys Tennis participates in states, individuals, and doubles at the Veterans Memorial Courts. And there's a soccer sub-state game tomorrow at noon in the stadium. We have two new movies to tell you guys about. Maleficent. It's Sleeping Beauty in a live-action movie starring Angelina Jolie as Maleficent, a vindictive fairy who curses the infant princess only to realize the child is, could be the only one to, to restore peace. A Million Ways to Die in the West. A western comedy that follows a pioneer who thinks the frontier is trying to kill him. That's your last LMTV weekend. Don't forget about those finals. Michael, back to you. Thanks, guys. We have exciting news from the lunchroom staff. Last Thursday, B-Lunch students in the food court did some taste testing. They tried Pizza Hut Pizza's new whole grain enriched crust pizza. It meets the USDA requirements for next year. 61 students sampled the pizza and 56 gave it a thumbs up. Some liked it better than the current pizza. So based on student feedback, Pizza Hut Pizza will be on the menu next year with their new and improved whole grain crust. We will be back with more LTV news right after this. Summer is coming. What shall we do? P is for party. A is for all right. R is for ready. And T is for tonight. Y is for you, because you know what to do. You've, You've got, got to, to party. party. Or you could go to the water park. Go to a baseball game. Volunteer at the hospital. Go camping. Whatever you do, have a happy, safe summer. See you next year. Welcome back. This is the last day to turn in your high V receipts for this school year. The fundraiser will continue next year, so keep saving those high V receipts and bring them in this fall. Monday is the deadline to sign up for Gems of Hope Volleyball Tournament. You must sign up as teams of six to eight players. Cost is $5 per person. Sign up forms are available outside Mrs. Dayton's office. The Lamar Greenhouse still has some plants available for your gardening project. See Ms. Lummer in room D128 to learn more. Now Lakeisha is here at sports. Lakeisha, I heard Lamar did pretty good in sports yesterday. That's for sure. Boys soccer beat Hampton one to nothing in the sub-state semifinal. One to nothing. Girls soccer went to, into overtime to beat Bettendorf two to nothing. And varsity softball took two from Iowa City West seven to six and eight to four. Congratulations to all. In addition to what the weekenders mentioned, ninth grade boys baseball red travels to Prairie. Game time is 5 p.m. Also at five. 10th grade baseball travels to ben Bettendorf. In other sports news, all locks in the boys' PE locker room need to be removed by Tuesday at 3 p.m. All locks left on after that will be cut off and the contents of the locker will be thrown out. Female athletes, please have your lock sports locker cleaned out and lock removed by Wednesday. After that, all locks will be cut off and belongings will be given to Goodwill. If you ordered a baseball shirt, you can pick them up in the athletics office. That's sports. Michael, back to you. Thanks, Lakeisha. In news from the counseling office, need a summer job? Check out the jobs board in the counselor's office. For more opportunities about upcoming college visits and career opportunities, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now Shannon joins us with Arts and Clubs. Are you interested in photography? Do you like design? Join the Lynn Mar yearbook staff. Applications are available in the main office and Mrs. Middlecoff's room, C113. They are due back to Mrs. Middlecoff by Tuesday. FFA members, learn about new career skills like egg mechanics, food science, or agronomy. Career development events will be held next Thursday. Meanwhile, Kirkwood is hosting several FFA competitions on Tuesday, June 10th, including floriculture, nursery and landscape, horse evaluation, and livestock judging. See Mrs. Lemmer for more details. 
Spectrum will be having an end of the year potluck picnic Tuesday at noon at Thomas Park. Everyone is welcome. Please bring a beverage and something to share. In the event of rain, the potluck will be held in Miss Smolik's room. That's your club update. Michael, back to you. Thanks, Shannon. Lakeisha, what's your lunch? The lunch staff is offering a wide variety of entries and a variety of fruits and vegetables. In the food court, it's cook's choice. That's lunch, Michael. Back to you. Thanks, Lakeisha. Weathercaster Maddie Spencer is here for our final weekend forecast. Maddie? Thanks, Michael. Your LMTP forecast calls for a mostly sunny day today with a high of 82. Tomorrow looks partly sunny with a chance of showers and storms with a high of 81. And Sunday, there's a 50-50% chance of showers and storms with a high of 83. That's your final weekend forecast. Michael, back to you. Thanks, Maddie. This is our last show for this year. Be sure to join us as we begin our 12th season of LMTV on Monday, August 18th. Remember. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the from the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching, Lamar. Join us again next year and have a great day, Lamar.